trying to film this intro. I filmed it yesterday. I looked busted and disgusted. Um, I think the lighting in the house is just not that great uh, this weekend. Also, I had like a little breakout going on on my face. So um, I'm not feeling too happy about that. So between all the things, me and this intro just ain't having it. But hi, welcome to the Get House Fitness channel. My name is Janet Gathers, also known as She Gathers Wellness. And today we're gonna finally do um, my houseplant tour. Um, I got into houseplants seriously like last year. So um, I probably got like three or four plants last year and then all the rest of the plants I've gotten this year so from January to present uh yeah so let's do this thing thank you so much for watching see you soon all right we're going to start off our plant tour with this philodendron siloam I believe is the way you say it or celloam s-e-l-l-o-u-m and I got this buddy from, was this Walmart, babe? Or Lowe's? I think it was Walmart. For 15. Had him for a few months now. He has a few new leaves coming in. His nickname is appropriately Philly. Um, and I need to figure out how to like train it up because it's starting to take over this space here and then we also have my problem child here at the it's on our shoe stand because we don't wear shoes in the house so yeah as you can see like it like grows two leaves kills two leaves so it has a new one coming so that means one of these is gonna go it's been repotted, it's been in high light, low light, no light, wet soil, dry soil. I don't know what it wants, but yeah, it's a <laughs> caladium. I think it's also called Jesus's heart. It's beautiful. Um, it just, mm, problems. So that's that. Then on our dining room table, centerpiece i have a monster propagation it's doing very well as you can see it's been in there three weeks i believe one node grew out the big root and then the one root is growing out all those little roots now there you go love propagation so that is that Set him back up, and that is Monty Jr., Monstera Deliciosa Jr. And I'm not sure why some leaves like thicken up and hold, and then some are just like floppy. Like, what is that? Then back here we have the lighting. Okay, there we go. Um, and don't mind this. <laughs> That's Babo stuff. So anyways, um, this is mango tree. I propagated from this little seed right here. It had four leaves, but something was going on with this leaf that was here, so I cut it off. But it's already growing. It's gonna focus two new leaves right here. So that's pretty cool. And then this is an avocado tree that I grew from this seed. And I actually started growing this one in soil after the mango, but it clearly is <laughs> growing quicker and it has a new leaf coming at the top. The leaves are so big. So that is my avocado and my mango. And then on this wall here, we just have some things in a wall vase. And these are two different air plants I don't know the names of them and then some green onions that I just snip off when we are cooking and I uh, buy a new ones to put in here like every other month or so this is another air plant which is dry and you can tell because it's usually like double the size it looks like wild hair um, but it's curling up so he's dry so I need to 
water him. So that is that wall. <laughs> okay, the only plant in the kitchen is this plant here, which is an air plant. It was my first air plant. I've had it about a year. Um, it's grown a little bit, but not too much. I just put a couple sprinkles of water on it like every other month. And it is in front of this picture that I got from Priscilla and Oscar when I graduated from my uh, advanced yoga teacher training. And it's my little Buddha. He's so cute. And I got this from Heather at the studio for Christmas. But anyways, that is the only plant in the kitchen. I do want some plants to go up here. Um, especially right here, like something that hangs down because we don't open those often or this one often. These we open every day, so if we put something up here, it would have to grow up, not down. Um, and then also, I would be worried about the lighting for it. So, I don't know, but yeah. Am I in frame? You're in frame. Preston said he wanted to talk to y'all about his plant. Because plant mom trying to get all this shine, so plant dad. Fellas, if you if you get roped into being a plant dad, usually- You I'm got roped dad. in? Usually I'm that guy. You got that, roped in? Usually I'm that guy that goes. <laughs> you know, so you go get that pack of cigarettes and never come back. I went and got the fertilizer, but I did come back home. But this is my plant. This is the broomstick Sally, as I call her. Doesn't need light. Doesn't need water. Doesn't need all that TLC. I've had it about 15 years. I mean, it's very low maintenance. So that's the plant that I'm proud of. That's still standing. Wow. And the genus of it is is broomstick Sally. Broomstick Sally, yes, ma'am. Um, from the the origin, the genus phylum phylo of uh, Michael's Arts and Crafts. That did not come from Michael's. Arts and Crafts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break it down from there. <laughs> Michael's Arts and Crafts, the class is uh, Nashville, Tennessee. The genus is broomstick. That's it. And then what's the Sally? That's the actual. That's just what I named him. Like oh, it's named Sally. And, and Monsty and all of them. So, um, Sally. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you and Sally, babe. Yeah, not a, not, you know, mention. Anybody want to jump the broom? We can use that. You ain't got to go look for one. We do rent it out. I got cash out. You, we, when we start renting it out, we can ship it. And it's low maintenance. It's, it's easy. I'll ship it. You ship it back to me. Let me just continue to stand there. And they can cash app you to rent it? If they want to. Okay. It's just, it's just that. I ain't gonna tell y'all about stick man over there. What stick man? Is that not yours? Uh, we, we in a custody battle for him. Oh, we in a custody battle. These are new things I didn't even know. So we in a custody battle. That means we supposed to be breaking up? No, just who takes care of what? That's not stick man. I don't know. Can't talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so on top of this, let me tell you about this. First of all, this was one of the housewarming presents we got from my mom when we lived in Nashville. But this was supposed to be a like a chest, like double the size and taller, and it came. I'm not even gonna tell y'all how much it cost. It came, it was this size. Talking about she was pissed off. We all were pissed off. Anyways, don't mind my stuff over here. As you know, I'm a fitness pro. So I train people virtually from home. So I got stuff all over the place. Um, so anyways, on here we have my Alocasia poly. Also known as the African mask plant. But I think they're going to stop calling it that. Which is fine with me. But yeah, um, it is beautiful. Like, this is one of the plants I just look at and I'm just like, wow. I just don't even know. It um, came with this hole in it, but I got it anyway. Um, so yeah, it's been doing really well. It has put out this new leaf since I got it, and then this one that is still very light green. Then I have my second Diffenbachia here, and it's putting out a new leaf here. And it's doing very well. I am aware of all my plants that are toxic to humans and pets. So we don't have to talk about that. Um, this is dried in a, what is that called? Pelogrigio, I can't ever pronounce it, bottle. 
Um, this came from Missy at the studio, studio owner of um, Studio 108. So yeah, that is, that is, that are, that is these plants. All right, so behind our couch, we have this um, plant bench that I made the other week. Uh, and I made this solely so I can buy more plants because I don't have anywhere else to put any um, except for hanging from the ceiling and such and shelves. Um, so we made this uh, disclaimer before I was an actual plant mom. I was a fake plant mom. So I do still have a bunch of fake plants as filler things. So succulent here. Succulents don't like me anywhere. Um, I need to stop putting that out in the universe. I have not had previous good luck with succulents, but it will change soon. Um, this is a fake plant. This succulent here is a fake plant. And this grass is a fake plant. But anyways, so this is one of my first snake plants that I got. Um, it is put out these two new leaves here. Um, this is one of my owls. We have a lot of owls around the house. This is my philodendron moonlight. It's freaking gorgeous. Like this plant, like look at the color. Like I just can't even how big the leaves are. It's gorgeous. Um, I had to repot it last week because it had spider mites. It came to me with spider mites. I lost this one to the spider mites, but it is otherwise doing very well. And all the spider mites are gone because when I see pests, I take the entire plant out rinse all the soil off and wash the whole plant and treat it so when it comes back in the house ain't nothing on it because everything on it is brand new so there's no more spider mites um fake and then these are uh dried this came from a student and she's also a friend at this point from my birthday last year um i think that is eucalyptus and i can't remember what that was but they're just in old wine bottles and vases then over here we have another plant bench and this bench is actually the um the second bench to the dining room table so around the dining room table i have one bench and four chairs that are like the metal distressed um teal where they're more baby blue they're supposed to be teal chairs um and then i use this one as a bench it just started getting plants on it with the end of last year well no that one's been up there but anyways that wasn't the what i got it for it was supposed to be for like little decorative things and then i just got plant fever and went from there so anyways we'll start here to the left this is monty monstera deliciosa and if my sister or ray are watching this i'm sorry I close your eyes the split leaves freak them out so this plant had to get repotted oh the leaf is folded um had to get repotted because it had root rot and you can kind of see this was two months ago like you can see here where stuff was turning dark but um i could tell because when these new leaves came out um the edges were brown and i cut the edges off um this one just had a brown lobe right here so i cut the lobe off um, yeah, so it had root rot. I took it out, repotted the whole thing, rinsed it down, treated the roots to kill the fungus that causes the root rot, and then repotted it. And like I said, this was like two, three months ago, and it's fine. It's finally putting out new leaves, and I can see that the leaves are going to have fenestration, which is the splits. And I'm so excited about that. So that's a new leaf there, and then there's another one down here and it looked like this one is also going to be split so that's awesome and when i did my propagation for the table i took it from right there i don't know if you can see it but i took it from right there so yeah this is one of my most desired plants and these two leaves that came out with the showing of what told me it had root rot uh they just started turning dark green they were this color for like four months so once they started turning dark green like the next week which would be this week it sprouted the new leaves so that's awesome this is another snake plant it also has a new little buddy here and 
I can't tell if this was the new leaf or this was a new leaf. One of these two is a new leaf. Um, you would assume it's the shorter one, but it has the most detail to it and it's harder. So I think it's actually this one. I don't know. But I just took this one when I repotted uh, my other snake plant. I saw that this was like a second plant, so I just took it out and put it in here. This is my... What is this? Philodendron, Hartley Philodendron, just the normal green one. I got this from Lowe's, and when I repotted it, <laughs> I was, I was, I wouldn't say upset for real, but we're gonna call it upset because literally this is just a bunch of cuttings. Which at the end of the day, I mean, most plants are cuttings if they're not grown from seeds, but they weren't even rooted together. They were just like in the soil. So when I repotted this, I had to like arrange it and everything and hold them and because there's like 10 cuttings, just loose cuttings. So anyways, they are um, rooted and of course putting out new little babies here, here. You can see it down there, down there. So it's doing well. It's gotten uh, longer and more bushy. This is one of my faves. The texture on here is just awesome. And this is the Pilea Moonlight, I believe. Yeah. And um, it's putting out new little babies here and on the back side. Clearly, the back side doesn't get sun. It grows the direction of the sun. But on the back side, this one here, which is now putting out a new little baby. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. Um, it got damaged when I bought it home, so I had to cut it off. But it's growing two new leaves right there, so that's awesome. And then this one, I ripped with scissors while I was trying to cut that one off so but it's grown bigger so apparently it's fine so yeah that's uh friendship I want to say it's like moonlit moonlight friendship or moon friend I don't know it's a friendship something Pilea. this is is this Sangonium Sangonium arrowhead something like that but anyways yeah that's him. This one um, has been one of the slowest growing ones. I haven't seen much new growth from it. It does have this new baby here and this new one down here, but uh, in comparison to the other ones, it hasn't been growing as fast. It may want a little more light, but it doesn't need a uh, direct light or bright light, so it can survive here. So um, this might be one I rotate in the sun every now and then because I sometimes sit the plants um in the sun like for a couple hours and then moved them back so yeah this is fake <laughs> this is my nerve plant or photonia uh this is my second one if you follow me on ig you know the first one drowned and it was not on purpose the first one was in was it in i think it was in this terracotta and um, it was a new pot and I did not take the label off. The, yeah, it was that one. Um, I did not take the label off the bottom, I forgot. So when the water started draining out when I watered it, I thought it was free flowing, but it wasn't. It was actually just dripping out. By the time I realized it, it had been sitting in the wet pot for hours. So it basically drowned. So um, it did not recover and I had to throw it out. I bought a new one. Um, but I will say the new one is bigger and better, literally. The small, the first one, all the leaves were about this size and this size. Nothing like this. These leaves are so thick and textured. I don't know if you can see that it actually has a texture on it. Freaking gorgeous. But yeah, this is one I like, just like to stare at. So pretty. That one and this one. God just knew what he was doing when he was making these plants. So this is, I want to say, my first official plant that I got when we moved into the house. It was only like, it was in like a four inch pot. So um, it's not trailing as long as you would think a plant someone had a year and a half would be because I have propagated it many times. Um, so yeah, this is a golden pothos or pothos. And... The leaves are starting to get really big, which makes me excited because they used to all be really small like this. Um, yeah, and at one point it did have, I don't even really know what it had, um, but I treated it because the, the tip, all the tips were turning brown on it. And I treated it with some neem oil and soap mixture. 
and it got better. Look how big that leaf is. So gorgeous. When I do propagate, I make sure I propagate more from this side forward only because this back corner has no variegation. So whatever you propagate is also going to be fully green. So if I want to make sure that my propagations have, you know, the splash paint color, like this leaf, looks like it was brush stroke painted but anyways but if I want to make sure that it had the it has the coloring in it I take it from you know the side that has color in it you can even tell from the stems the stems are like completely green these stems are green and white so yeah then beside it we have is this alocasia elephant ear I think yeah <laughs> So it's an elephant ear plant, but I think it is an alocasia. Um, beautiful, big leaves. Like, I just love it. This leaf is new as of, like, Monday. Um, it did have another leaf here, but um, it started turning yellow. So I cut him off, let him go. And it was repotted uh, a week ago, I want to say these uh leaves are always crying i don't know if you can see the the little dew drop right there so usually there is a towel right here on the floor but of course i moved it to uh film you can also see it here it's like wet and it just runs down the plant but anyways um yeah beautiful plant i love it it can get giant i love all the big 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 giant <laughs> leaf plants so we'll go to the other side oh i forgot one okay hold on so i forgot in the back in the courtyard is this buddy as you can see he's not doing well so this is a plant i got uh from lowe's like clearance section it had two stems in it uh and it was like rotting and then i saved it and i was so excited and if you live in Florida, especially Tampa, you know that the fire ants are horrible. So I did not know that I needed to have it elevated off the ground. So now the whole pot is full of ants and it's like killing it. Um, on top of the fact that it might have also now have a fungus. So I don't know. And I think this is a ficus, but I got it for like $2. So I don't know if I'm trying to save it or I'm not trying to save it. I really don't want to deal with the ants so I think um I think it's a lost cause okay so here we have another snake plant um I tried to propagate right here in water a total fail I don't know if this is the only plant I have to propagate in dirt everything else I can propagate in water but there's some like soil in there but anyways it is now growing a new leaf out of there so that's awesome. Um, this is one of my Chinese money coins. But yeah, this is, I wanna say this is the desert rose snake plant. And it's been growing super tall. It was about this tall when I got it. And of course not this like open. So it's doing really well. And then in front of the TV, <laughs> fake Buddha, fake. <laughs> And then this is my crawling jade, which is like a shrubbery landscape filler plant. Like most normal people wouldn't buy this plant, but I'm Janet. I'm pressing this salty that his PS4, is it four, three? I don't know, whatever controller had to move because it used to always sit here. But um, when we would pick it up, we would like catch the vines. And I was like, eh, we need to move it over here. So he said he's been kicked out. But anyways, so we'll start with this plant here so this is the crawling jade plant and when i got it it was like to just here so i've had it probably since april and it's grown all of that so that's that um these two are fake this is real this is an air plant um this is also real this is an air plant this is um, a propagation station. My baby sister sent me on surprise. And you can see all those little lovely roots in there. Um, also has a new leaf coming here. And also in the back, you can see that right there, new leaf. So that's awesome. This is my 
other Diffenbachia, um, Dumb Cane, and these leaves have gotten so big since I repotted it like a week ago. It wasn't a terracotta. Homeboy don't like terracotta. It was thirsty every other day, and I was like, I cannot water you every other day like I don't I don't have that in my schedule so I repotted it and when I repot my plants I always put a little bit of organic um miracle grow fertilizer I guess it plant food um so I don't know if that's what made it grow or the fact that it's getting to actually hold moisture in the soil now um I don't know but the leaves like almost doubled in size but this one definitely tells you when it's thirsty, like all the leaves will be drooped down. This one I call my little pineapple. What is it called? Oh my goodness. I can't remember your name. Mm. Wow, I feel so bad. I cannot remember, but anyways, <laughs> it's been doing awesome. Um, growing and growing. This whole top section here is new, and then this is really new. So yeah, um, wow, I cannot remember the name of that. Uh, then we have here my second elephant ear plant. This one had spider mites. They are, no, the spider mites? Mealybugs, I don't know. Anyways, whichever ones, it's not spider mites because the, they were on the back of the leaves, um, but like I said, when I see stuff like that, I repot the whole plant, rinse it down, new soil, new everything, treat the roots, spray the plant down, all that good stuff. So they haven't um, come back. Uh, but I'm wondering about the water or something. I don't know if you can tell the edges are kind of yellow to me. I don't know. Anyways, um, but this is actually two plants because that one in the back um, is another plant, which I did not notice when I repotted it so I feel like these are new because I, I I hadn't seen these before I saw these this morning I'm like where'd y'all come from so I think they sprouted up because I remember these which is separate than this but I don't remember this so I think this is new and it's on the back side of the plant so I guess I just missed it this is some more um propagation this is these are some more propagations um they're doing fairly well got roots coming out um this one for whatever reason is taking a little longer i think because the way the sun comes in it kind of misses this one so i might have to switch it out so i don't know but those are golden pothos um and then here is my only hanging plant and it is growing so much because this was not coming down. I've had this one two months, maybe three months. I don't know. Um, and then this side was also not coming down. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So, yeah. And I love that pot. And then under it, I have um, another snake plant which is growing like a weed. This was another one that I don't really ever water, but it's gorgeous. And I think this is one of my sister's favorite plants. So yeah, then I have my mirror here, which is not the mirror I want here. So envision a big wall mirror with wooden uh, framing and just like gorgeous. So coming soon. This is Preston's plant. He says we we're having a custody battle over and he said it's called Matchstick Man, I believe. So there's that. Um, this is Fid, or as Preston calls them, Fiddy. Uh, and it's the Fiddle Leaf Fig. And it actually is, I don't know if you can tell, three plants in there. And it's grown so much. It kind of went uh, I don't want to say dormant, but it stopped growing for a while and it just put out six leaves. These two, these two, and these two. And you always can tell because they're way lighter than the other ones. And the leaves are also now getting really big and it's getting taller. So when I got it, it was probably like this tall. 
so yeah like everything was flushed against the pot so yeah love fed and everyone says they're such a problem but I mean besides the fact that it didn't grow for a little while I guess it was adjusting there's been no problems there's been no bugs there's been no leaves falling off um the one the leaves at the bottom were yellowing at first but I think that was just you know transition so yeah love to fit another classic plant mom plant and then we have my um ficus elastica i think is what it's called burgundy and i call it elastica and um yeah it's beautiful i need to dust it i'm sorry buddy <laughs> but i need to dust it it went through a whole bunch of stuff it was I want to say my first plant that had pests and it was spider mites and it was horrible they were like all in the soil it was just bleh. so anyways um I repotted it I was not uh, paying attention to the fact that I mean it's rubber you know what I mean and it was outside in the Florida heat so everything drooped down the branches were like everything was like warm rubber uh, when I bought it inside, the branches finally stood up, but the leaves were drooping down for like two months. They just started standing back up maybe three weeks ago. Um, it did get a little damage from repotting because it took like two hours to do this thing. So this leaf got bruised. Um, I think it was in contact with the pavement. And then there's another one. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, this one. And then this one, uh, it had something going on right here and I was looking at it and treating it for a few weeks. It wasn't getting bigger, um, but I didn't want to cut the whole leaf off because the leaf itself is healthy. Um, so I just cut this off and that's been like four months. Uh, it also did lose some leaves at the base here. And the sad thing is, is this plant only grows, well, most plants, if you think about it, only grows leaves out the top, which you can see it's, it's thinking about budding and sprouting here and here. Um, but yeah, it's just going to get taller and there'll be no leaves at the bottom. So if I want to make this look full again, I'm going to have to plant a baby plant down here because there just, there'll be no leaves at the bottom. So yeah, that's that in this little corner which is my view when I watch TV with the hubs and then of course more weights and stuff and then just our little household stuff. Last plant. This is um, one of my very first propagations um, of the Golden Pothos and this was propagated like a year ago, this part, and then all the parts that are not a vine were newly put in there maybe a month ago so it's been doing really well um like i said i try to make sure when i propagate i get a lot of leaves to have the variegation in it so yeah, it sits here on my side of the bed preston doesn't have a plant yet on his side and then we have this that's fake but everyone <laughs> loves it uh my vine wall i did do a video on how to make this um but for some reason, I think, I don't know where the footage is. But anyways, um, it was easy. I try to do something to a DIY video on it. But yeah, and it has the lights here. So at night, when we come up, we just turn the lights on and turn the overhead light off. It's, it's a vibe. So yeah, last two plants. And I think I'm going to show you what I want to do in the office. There's no plants there yet. But it would be awesome if and when there are plants. So let's go talk about that. And I just wanted to show you all, like I was talking about all the owl stuff. So here's another owl. Here are more owls. That plant is fake. <laughs> and then here are more owls. So yeah, my sister and I have an owl thing. But anyways, let's talk about the office. All right, excuse the sound of the washing machine. The laundry area is right behind me. But what I want to do in here is put a like bookshelf here that is probably about this high so that I can, one, uh, put all this stuff and client files and crafts and stuff 
somewhere where it looks uh, neat as well as these books and things that are stacked in the corner um, so yeah I want a bookshelf or um, maybe put some hanging I don't know something here so I can put more plants as well as organize my stuff I also would love to put like some plants up here to hang down like maybe a pothos or um, Hoyas or even a like Hartley philodendron the philodendron Brazil would be awesome there and then I don't think I want to block this because I take calls and film stuff here so if I put like a shelf or something here um, it would be blocked because I like to sit on the ground when I do it uh, yeah and this is our at home sauna if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen it on there it was only like $120 from Amazon and it has the little thing you fill with water you put that little tube in the back and zip it up and go at it so yeah that is the plan for the office I might put some plants up here though like if I put a hanging that would be awesome actually I think that's what we want to do put a hanging shelf here and then have um, plants coming down so plants coming down here plants coming down here and then shelf here so that's all my plant stuff guys alright guys thank you for watching those are all my plants oh I missed the plant I lied I missed the plant there's one plant Thai chili plant it's outside I'm gonna show it just because that's what this video is about but I'm gonna do my outro now thank you for watching um, hope you like to press these two plants as well um, and I'll be back with more plant stuff as well as, of course, yoga, nutrition, and fitness. Uh, Y'all be blessed. Peace. The last plant is this Thai chili plant. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. It has these, like, you see a little white? Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on. I haven't had time to figure it out, and I think I need to neem oil treat it. I don't know um, my friend Karen gave me this and I really want to make sure it survives because she's so awesome with like outdoor plants and vegetables and all that stuff but um yeah I think I'm gonna have to neem oil buddy down but yeah this is my Thai chili plant that's all guys peace Okay, we're just going to add this to the end of this video because I just did some plantings and might as well so I can have it all documented. So I just staked up Philly. Um, he has about five different string apparatuses in there. Um, he's standing way taller, which means now I can get a plant to put here and a plant to put here. Um, this which is usually in the center of the table but we moved it to eat um i'm coming uh is doing really well since the last time you saw the roots let me get this uh vegan burger babe is grilling outside hold on okay next we have a newbie this calathea uh that i got from lowe's last night we have two new little leaves here I haven't really gotten to see it open and close and all that good stuff, but it was 12 bucks. It is gorgeous. I believe this is the Ornata, Calathea Ornata. Then this was one of my wishlist plants, Palea Peperomoides. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, it's the friendship plant, aka Chinese money plant, aka pancake plant for obvious reasons. Uh, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, the main stem, and seven growing out the bottom, different plants, so it definitely will be easily propagated. I'll probably just put these um, five minus this one in the bottom uh, in another little cute pot. This is my first succulent in a long, long time. Hopefully I don't kill it. It's so freaking cute. Um, it was $12 as well. And it is called a Kumina or something like that. Yeah, a Kumina. 
thing says three ounces of water a month. So don't overwater it and put it directly in the sun pretty much is what I have gathered from videos and that little card. So that's that. I have an update on my Monstera Delicioso and I also bought a Philodendron Congo Red or Red Congo. I'm gonna show you that and then this should really for real for real conclude the video. Hey mama. Hey boo. You gonna help? Help mommy tell you what this is. What is this? Hmm? <laughs> All right, so I have put a stake in Monty. Uh, his new little leaves are coming out and doing well. Oh, I also forgot to say I did a uh, pebble tray. So I did pebble tray on Monty, on this elephant ear, on the elephant ear across the room, as well as this, uh, what is that? Philodendron moonlight. So hopefully that'll help with the humidity and the leaf leaves <laughs> leaves not being plump but anyways there's only two uh binds in this one basically those two stems were like all the way out taking up a lot of space so again now that that is there we can get a cute little plant put right there all this is helping for the greater good creating this jungle so last update um the new plant upstairs Okay, so the office has a plant now. <laughs> this is the Philodendron Congo. If you saw my Instagram, you will see that this plant was ashy. Basically almost looking white. Um, so I had to do a whole neem oil situation to it. I also added some soil and put all the roots, all of these were coming out the pot, put the roots into the soil and then the rest of the roots I threaded up the stake and then I staked up uh, I think it was just these two because the plant was basically leaning forward onto the ground so all of this was basically hanging over the pot right here I also cut off about five leaves because um, they just didn't look well and I usually don't do all of this that soon after getting this plants because I just got this plant last night but um, I just felt like it really needed to happen and I did also neem oil treat the soil because it looked real wonky to me uh, since it is technically quarantined because it's up here by itself um, I didn't repot the soil so it'll probably stay in this soil for a while until it needs to be repotted but we have a new leaf coming out here and then we have this one that is almost completely unfurled um, and I don't know I think this one is a new leaf too because it hasn't opened on this side so this leaf came out of here but this leaf um, is new so we're gonna have three leaves new total and it's just real gorgeous I just I can't so yeah oh and it has accidental variegation I don't think I'll have any other leaf that has this but that is beautiful as well so we have all three shades of green but yeah so i think that is all of the plant house tour teens so bye for real this time <laughs>